As always, thanks for tuning in to NRA Gun Gear of the Week. This week we're looking at 10 round magazines for the 1911. I'm Joe Kurtenbach, this is Lock, Stock and Barrel. We all know that the 1911 has a lot of virtues. In terms of shootability, that single action trigger on the 1911 is peerless. In terms of stopping power, the 45 ACP is king. But one criticism often leveled against the 1911 is capacity. So this week we're looking at a couple options for 10 round magazines. Understanding that the typical 1911 magazine carries 7 or 8 rounds of 45 ACP, these 10 rounders have a lot to offer. First up, we're going to take a look at MechGuard. Now this is an Italian company, but it's a staple in the American firearm industry because they make magazines for so many firearm platforms and actually make the magazines for many American firearm companies. So they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to making a steel tube designed to hold bullets. Now one of their many offerings is an extended 10 round 45 ACP magazine designed for the 1911. It uses a carbon steel tube body, it has a steel follower, a music wire spring, and it is capped off by a welded butt plate. These come in at around $31 from MechGuard.com, and these are kind of a staple, kind of that traditional rendering of the 10 round 1911 magazine. Next up, we're gonna look at a legend in terms of shooting 1911s and building magazines for them, and that's Chip McCormick. Now, Chip McCormick and his company, Chip McCormick Custom, spent a lot of time trying to solve a major problem with traditional 10 round magazines, and that is that over time, the feed lips deform. Now, that happens because when you slam home a full 10 round magazine, the weight of those 10 rounds pushes upward against the feed lips and over time will deform them, which of course reduces reliability and eventually causes malfunctions. He wanted to improve the design. So what he did was he designed the RPM, the railed power mag, and instead of feed lifts, it uses reinforced rails that are resistant to that deformation and will last longer than traditional 10 round magazines. The RPMs use a laser welded stainless steel tube. They have a steel follower and a full wraparound base pad. Now powering the follower does have 19 coils of rocket wire spring um, for good reliable function. And of course, those feed rails are going to give you a lot of life out of these magazines. These are coming in at $36 from cmcmags.com, that's Chip McCormick's website. Uh, and they definitely kind of changed the way a lot of people are looking at the construction of a 10 round 1911 magazine. Finally, we're moving on to another legend in his own right, and that's Bill Wilson and his company, Wilson Combat. Now, Wilson Combat, like Chip McCormick, offers a variety of 10 round magazines, but their most recent offering is the 1911 Elite Tactical Magazine. The 1911 Elite Tactical uses a stainless steel tube with extended viewing ports. It's got a stainless steel spring and a polymer follower, and it also has a wraparound full base pad. Now here too, we see rails instead of feed lips, and that should be no surprise. The relationship between Chip McCormick and Bill Wilson is very close. So close, in fact, that Wilson Combat recently acquired Chip McCormick Custom in Shooting Star Industries. Uh, so the relationship there is very strong. They've been long time shooting and business competitors, but it's very amicable relationship. And obviously the technology that Chip McCormick developed has made its way over to Wilson Combat. And it's really 1911 shooters who are gonna benefit. The 1911 Elite Tactical 10 round magazines are available from wilsoncombat.com for $41 for the stainless version or $44 for a black finished version. So if you're looking to shoot your 1911 more and reload magazines less, we hope this helps. And be sure to stay tuned here for the latest guns and gear at AmericanRifleman.org.